the Feeding the Future seminar in Helsinki addressed the challenge of producing food for a fast-growing population in a cost-effective and environmentally friendly manner. Of course, we know, know the challenges of the, of the world. We have to produce first more food. Decision-making also on a local level could take more into account these uh, global challenges so people start to be more and more aware of those and, uh, and however the policy also needs to be aligned with these challenges uh, so that they can be solved in the future. There are two key elements. Uh, first is sustainability, especially here, here in, in the north. And the second is uh, competitiveness. It's very, very clear that um, productivity is one, one of the key elements of competitiveness. The current history in productivity development is not good at all. We need good agriculture policy, which is offering uh, tools for farmers to improve productivity at the farm level. I think that Finland will be more and more important uh, producer in agriculture in the future when the climate change uh, goes forward. And that's why I want to emphasize that uh, we should be able to use all the potential of what we have in agriculture, maximize the production, but do it in a sustainable way, uh, taking environment into consideration at the same time. The focus at the seminar was not just on Finnish agricultural production, but also on our common responsibility for global food security. We see a growing volatility in agri-commodity markets because of that uh, rising demand for food products and supply having difficulty to catch up. As a result, stocks have now disappeared. Uh, global agriculture is running at full capacity. And uh, as a result, a small setback in, in, in a production, like a drought in, uh, in the US or a drought in Russia, immediately triggers enormous price spikes. And that affects the whole value chain. In Western countries like Finland, these challenges are not known that well. And we want to increase the awareness and increase the discussion of these issues. It's uh, uh, an attitude towards agriculture, which I see is, uh, is coming and, and changing. Uh, also then to understand the importance of agriculture in the world. And, uh, I do have great hopes that uh, we will be able to achieve uh, what uh, is needed. But it's a lot of work and we would like to participate in it. Uh, food production has to increase by 70%. There will not be much more land available for food production. So that all has to come from increasing productivity. And Yara as a fertilizer company is very well positioned to contribute to that productivity growth. And is not only selling more fertilizer, but also contributing to making better use of fertilizer, increasing the efficiency of fertilizers. And I think Yara with its approach of, of uh, not only selling a bulk product, but increasingly selling an agronomic advice to the farmer, uh, how to make better use of fertilizer and increase the efficiency of fertilizer. I think that's a very uh, valuable role for an impulse company to contribute to the global food challenge.